friends uh, greetings i welcome you for the another session on uh, cost elements in product development uh, in today's world of globalization product development has become a global event no more uh, product development is done uh, in silos world class product companies have their footprint across the globe to leverage the cost advantage and the talent available so it becomes more prominent to know the cost elements in any product development so in order to address that the agenda for discussion will be uh, to understand importance of cost why a designer should know manufacturing process what is manufacturing cost typical manufacturing cost why cost is key in product development who has highest influence on cost of the product let's begin at very top level any business process starts with a planning and capital is brought into the business and the investment is made and the product is manufactured and that is sold to have a highest profit possible so in in an such event we need to make lot of economic decisions but in order to increase the profit margin today's world the optimization of cost has become more prominent than ever before to sustain and grow in competitive market why designer should know manufacturing objective of any good design components must be designed to meet design requirements including all dfxs like maintainability reliability serviceability and second important factor is design should be manufactured economically that is art to part from art level to the part level it should be manufactured economically let's understand why look at this spread of budgeted cost distribution at the design level only 15% of the budgeted cost is spent and at the manufacturing level the 40% of the budgeted cost of the product is spent so 40 plus 15 together become 55% then where is another 45% let's keep your curiosity we'll look into where is that 55% the 15% of the design cost is a non recurring cost that means it is one time cost that is spent during the product life cycle but whereas 40% of the cost is spent on manufacturing is a recurring cost that is every time part is produced this 40% cost is associated with a finished goods so it's very essential for a designer to know the manufacturing what is manufacturing cost it is expense incurred in converting raw material into finished good so at very top level total cost is equal to sum of fixed cost plus variable cost so where is where is a manufacturing cost in this manufacturing cost is equal to material cost and part cost plus plant and machinery cost it includes direct labor cost and it includes indirect labor cost so what is a further split on this manufacturing cost the manufacturing cost contains 12 per typical a uh, product contains 12% of budgeted cost is spent on direct labor cost 26% of the budgeted cost is spent on plant and machinery 12% is spent on indirect labor cost and 50% of the budgeted cost is spent on material and part cost all this together forms a 40% of manufacturing cost so by looking at this split of uh, percentage of cost material are the typical area where you can focus on optimizing the cost and the selling price is equal to 15% is that is as we discussed in earlier side at the design phase for engineering non recurring cost spent is 15% r&d cost is 5% 25% of the budgeted cost is normally spent on administration sales marketing and typical margin of profit is 15% so the elements from manufacturing cost till the administrative cost 
all these sum up to the cost elements the selling price is equal to cost plus profit so it is very essential that designer should know the manufacturing process in order to optimize the cost because manufacturing has a huge contribution associated with the product cost why cost is key in product development let's look at this we look at this graph percentage of product cost versus product life cycle uh, uh, phases or time phases incurred cost it is actual spending at each phase of the product development at conceptual stage only 5% of the total budgeted cost is spent by the time we reach the preliminary system design we is spent 10% of the budgeted cost by the time we reach at detailed product design we spend 15% of the budgeted cost and then for designing the process and tool design by the time we spend 25% of the budgeted total product cost by the time a ramp up starts we would have spent 85% of the budgeted cost and then product support and end of that product life cycle we would spend typically an ideal case 100% of the budgeted cost let's look at one more curve that is committed cost curve what is this committed cost committed cost is a projected cost based on the engineering decisions made at each phase of the product development let's see how it pans out in re in relative to incurred cost so at the phase of concept design we already committed 40% of the product cost by the end of preliminary design we committed 70% of product cost before the detailed design you spent 10% in actual but you commit 70% of the cost of the product so it is very huge a huge price on the decisions that designers make at these phases by the time detailed design is completed the incurred cost at design is only 15% but the committed cost is 85% of the product cost so it is very critical that decisions that we make in design contribute heavily to the cost of the product once detailed design is done you have only 15% of the product cost that can be optimized already 85% of the product cost is decided so it is very essential to optimize the cost at the earlier phase of product development who has a biggest influence on the cost designer by the time he the decisions that he makes during the product development even though he spends incurred cost is 15% but that decides the 85% of the product cost design influences 85% of the product cost the decisions made during design phase such as material and parts tolerance shapes and sizes surface finish spec requirement influences 85% of the product cost so design phase has maximum opportunity to optimize the product cost it is very essential to optimize the product cost at the thank you for your time uh, happy learning hello friends i invite you to subscribe the channel add wings to the journey of learning thank you for your valuable time